Hello fellow mutants, and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to talk about how it's just been announced not too long ago the Cobra Kai season 6 will be its final season. Now, I'm a huge fan of Cobra Kai. I love Cobra Kai. I feel that it honors the uh, Karate Kid lore. The only thing I want oh I've been wanting the most debatably out of Cobra Kai is seeing Julie Pierce. Because both Julie Pierce and, and the next Karate Kid, in my opinion, are underrated. And I just love the character of Julie Pierce. I love how like she began to be like this narky person that was closed off and was smart ass to this like person that we go on who has more of an understanding of life who matured throughout the story kind of like with Daniel LaRusso matured from Cry Kid Part 1 to 3 to Cobra Kai now and I I, I just I just want to get out next the next Cry Kid pun like reference somewhere please anyways I've also been saying, with no secret, that I felt like Cobra Kai Season 6, as much as I love Cobra Kai, should be its last season. Because past that, it risks, like, losing the magic that it cultivated since Season 1. And I think Season 6 could potentially be a good ending point. And apparently, the studio... Whoever made is in front of a charge of Cobra Kai also agrees with me apparently if season six is going to um be the final season. So uh let's see what this says, shall we? So the final sea battle of the Souls of Resida in the is is on the horizon. As Netflix has released a teaser for season uh, six of Cobra Kai, which is officially its be his last. There's no release date yet, and we are sure that the end is coming soon. The lauded sequel series to the Karate Kid moves brought many of the characters from the films back. The original nemesis, Daniel LaRusso, and Johnny Lawrence is in the lead roles. The series, as my... There we go. The series has found acclaimed for its characterizations, themes, and redemptions of learning how to learning from the past and its respect for the movies that inspired it. But it's also a breath of fresh air in the woke wasteland. The Hollywood has become. So I thought I heard a weird noise. Sorry. You can see the teaser below which I will be putting this article in the description so if you beautiful people want to read this you guys can um there's a definition of a teaser as opposed to a trailer I mean this is a definition of a teaser as opposed to a trailer there's no footage it's just a clip from past seasons and the karate kid but the Cobra Kai but for Cobra Kai this is enough because it's a garner so much goodwill that is fans that is a trip up down memory lane is more than sufficient to get us excited for more. Now I haven't seen the trailer yet. Um by the time I'm recording, by the time this will video will release, I will most likely already have. Um But like I said, by the time I at this moment as I'm recording I've seen the trailer. Which if like I will be posting the trailer in the uh, um Description below so if you guys want to re uh, watch the trailer too, all you guys have to do is click on Go into like the description and click on the link that said um, In addition to the teaser the creators of the series John Harold John Hurwitz and Hayden so uh, Skullsberg sorry if I mispronounced that sent out a letter to fans which you can read below which says um, 
When Daniel LaRusso arrived in the valley with his mother in 1984, little did we, he know that his life was about to be forever changed. The same went for three young kids from New Jersey who hadn't met yet, met, had, who hadn't yet met one another. Daniel's journey from bullied teen to underdog hero became an indelible part of our childhoods and something that we would always carry with us in our hearts. We equating the world with the Karate Kid universe has been our humble honor. Making Cobra Kai has allowed us to join the same hollow dojo once inhabited by the great Robert Mark Kamen, Come in, John Aldson, Jerry Winstrup, and all the amazing original cast. It has also enabled us to play Sensei, expanding the original storylines and birthing a new generation of underdogs. We've never once taken this opportunity for granted. Our days, our, our day, one goal with Cobra Kai has always been to end it on our own terms. Leaving the valley in the time and place we've always imagined. So, it is with immense pride and thankfulness that we are able to announce that achievement. The upcoming Season 6 will mark the conclusion of Cobra Kai. While this may be bittersweet, this may be a bittersweet day for our, the fandom, the Miyagi first has never been stronger. This fandom is the best all, uh, on the planet and we hope be telling more Karate Kid stories with you down the line. Because, as we all know, Cobra Kai doesn't die. In the meantime, strap on the biggest season of Cobra Kai yet, and today be a celebration of all that comes, as well as all that's still left to be, to be told. We couldn't have done it without you. We made it! That was, so, that was awesome. Bittersweet is right, but I get it. A show has, as incredible and loved and as appreciated as Cobra Kai needs to end at the right moment before it becomes stale and runs out of stories to tell. Pretty much my point. And season 5 ended in a way that suggests the final battle was at hand. And while it feels rude to mention it, William Sabak is 57 years old and Ralph Maggio is 61. They're terrific in the show, but how long can they keep this up? I hate to see it go, but I will be satisfied with what I'm sure will be the story well told by a trio of creative creatives who have earned my trust many times over. The promises of this being the biggest and baddest season are certainly tantalizing. And I gotta say, William Sabak and Ralph Macchio look great. Like, especially Ralph Macchio. No, no shade to William Sabak, but, like, I thought William Sabak was older. <laughs> I genuinely thought he was older. Because Ralph Macchio looks like he should be in his 30s. I don't lie. So, like, in my opinion, Ralph Macchio and William Sabak both aged really well. And all the, like, actors that they have brought in from the Karate Kid movies into the show, all of them also aged really well. And the use of ca the characters that were from the Karate Kid that brought in, as well as bringing new characters for the Cobra Kai show, they used so well. And if you guys seen all five seasons, it's no surprise just how beloved the show is. Let's continue because I got a little bit more to read. What is a tantalizing scene is that the promise of more Cry Kid stories. A wonderful, as wonderful as Cobra Kai is. Oh, what is a tantalizing scene? Sorry. As wonderful as Cobra Kai is, I really don't think they should push any, this any further. Part of what makes the series so great is that Daniel and Johnny are the stars, the driving forces of the story. It never stopped being theirs, and the next generation shares it. Let us shape them. Where they can go from here, I don't want to see a show with just the kids. I don't want know how interesting that would be in the absence of the mentors. No, this should be it. The final word of the story long thought told with perhaps its best chapter 
still to tell. Now, I do somewhat agree, like, if they can tell a compelling story in, a, like, a offshoot series with just the kids, maybe having Daniel and, um, Daniel LaRusso and, um, Johnny Lawrence making cameos here and there, sure. But most of me is agreeing with this. Most of me is agreeing with this. Um, what I liked about this so is that it gave us fans closer and characters closer. It had introduced like people who had rivalries with each other. Daniel with Johnny, Daniel with Tenson, Daniel with uh, Mike Barnes, and they squashed it while like giving us okay, what would it be if um John who like I don't know why I have a brain fart. Like, dude who started Cobra Kai. I don't know why I had a brain fart of John Kreese. And I actually literally look it up on my phone to cast just to remember his name. But, John Kreese, I liked how they, like, played him to be like, yeah, he was being a dick, but gave us why he was being a dick. And giving us a potential um, redemption. But him potentially screwing that up by escaping jail and makes you wonder if he did not escape jail, would that redemption been more tangible? And I'm not saying that John Kreese can't have that redemption arc. Because I think he still potentially can. It's going to play the feeling with like the, at least the first few episodes of the new season. Who knows if he's going to be the big bad of the new season. I think that girl that, um, Silver, well, uh, teamed up with, is going to be the big bad, in my opinion. That, uh, Cre uh, Crease is just going to be like that, um, tool, um, to help, like, make her, um, plans, whatever they are, at this point, more tangible, but, yeah, I do like the use of, like, where's John Kreese going to go, and, is, like, like, are they going to show Terry Silver in this season, in jail, and what is he going to be up to, will he pull up John Kreese, get out of jail, will there be a fight between Terry Silver, John Kreese. And then having that break out to those who are fighting. And then um, Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence getting into the fight. Who knows? They're good at blowing shit up. And making it really compelling to us fans. At least to me anyways. And I am... So, yeah, excited to see where Cry, I'm gonna say Cry Kids season six, Cobra Kai season six will take us. Because each season of Cobra Kai, I feel like gotten better. Now, fans say that season two was like debatably the eh season for Cobra Kai, but I enjoyed all the seasons. I enjoy the show. I love this show. This show is like amongst the best. And I do highly suggest if you guys have Netflix to go on to Netflix, watch Cobra Kai. The cool part about Cobra Kai is that you don't need to watch the um, movies, the Cry Kid movies, to understand what's going on because they will help you. But, like, understand. But I highly suggest watching the Karate Kid movies first, then watching uh, Cobra Kai. Because when those, like, characters come in are that are from the movies and, like, stuff that may be referenced from the movies gets referenced, it can be bittersweet to you. And you can be more in the mo uh, moment. But that's just my advice. And Cobra Kai is a... Beautifully made show, and it is one of, in my opinion, 
the best shows that have gone, like, that had occurred within the last, I'll, I'm going to say, ten, like, eight years. Even though the show hasn't been, isn't eight years old, but you guys get the point, right? Um, so why do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And I'll talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters.